Here I am. Mm -hmm. so, <laughs> that was Jean. <laughs> Sorry I missed yesterday, but we were getting ready for some stuff. You'll see soon. Today, I don't want to say that this is a dupe because, and what I mean dupe for is the ethereal eyes, but I want to see if we can get a similar look. Um, the reason I don't want to call it a dupe is because these formulas are going to be just a touch more elevated. They, they really and truly are, but I know that this is really spicy priced. So let's just see if we can get a similar look. I'm going to do one eye with this palette and then one eye with this palette and maybe it'll turn out similar. Let's just see. So I'm gonna use a clean canvas, but I'm only gonna use it from my socket to my brow bone. And the reason why is because I feel that the mattes perform their best with a base where you can't see the skin, but I feel that the shimmers perform best with a clear base, a very tacky base. It also kind of helps hold them in place a little bit better. Um, because this, this base, I'll get to it in a second, but the clear base that I use really does kind of grab. It acts more like a glitter glue. So we'll do that. This is fine. That can be wiped away in a second. Do not worry about that. Let's just focus on getting this clean canvas from our socket to our brow bone. We're using a C31 to apply this. So what I was talking about is this base. I love it, it's completely transparent. And the reason I wanna use this, let me just wipe that away a little bit. The reason I wanna use this on my lids, I feel that it, it holds and enhances the shimmers the best. So you get a lot of pop out of them and it just really grabs them. Because like I mentioned, these are a migratory shimmer. <laughs> so I'm gonna start with this shade because the Mario palette has a shade almost identical to this and I'm just packing that into my socket. That looks good. So now I grab this shade and if you're wondering why I already have it on, I'm filming a video, but you're seeing it still. So we're gonna grab this and that's that looks almost identical. And of course I switch brushes. Let's build that up a little bit more. I feel that this one might look just a touch softer, but not from this distance. Basically the same. So the next color we wanna use is this one, this more pinky mauve shade, because there's one over here that's identical. Do you see that right here? Oh, my finger, right here where my pinky is. The map. Okay, that's, that's, that's where we're headed. So let's grab our Mario brush to go into the Mario palette. Press that, transition that. That looks pretty bad on another phone call. It's it's looking pretty close. Wow. Well, that's good. All right, so where are we going now? I think we're gonna go there. See the, the ColourPop has the wing in it and the one right underneath that one. Um, the Mario is just a touch darker, but I don't think it's gonna be that much of a difference. And then we'll get to Shimmer. Also, wait a second, I just noticed this little Frazzler. Let's swatch that. Okay, before we finish the eye, let's. I, I just love a sequin like this, a matte with a shimmer. Woo! Okay, so it's more of a dark brown. It's not a black. I'm okay. I love that. I don't have. I have blacks like this, but I don't have a brown like this. That's really pretty. Okay, ColourPop. That's really nice. I like that it's a brown. Like I said, I already have black. I have the ABH one that has that, so. <laughs> I like this palette. Now we're grabbing this shade on the ColourPop side and I'm just pushing that in here. We'll do this on the lid as well. You can tilt your head back. And I just read a DM that said the new Mario palette has less fallout, the shimmers. Um, guess what? I bought it last week. I haven't even touched it yet. Maybe we should just do a whole video where I swatch it on my face and we see each one. The new uh, palette versus the palette, the original palette that I have. And then let me switch brushes. This is actually pretty easy. I have them on different sides of my vanity. That's the wrong brush altogether. Where did it go? Here it is. So we'll switch back to our Mario one. 
And then this is the color that we're doing. This one's really, really similar. Okay, see that right there? The bottom one might just have a touch more red, but it's it's close enough. And then I'm taking that and I was just doing the same exact thing. I actually feel that the ColourPop one is more pigmented. It is. So let's add a little bit more clear base to both of our lids here, nice. Now, which shimmer matches the most? Let's just swatch all of the Mario shimmers and then we'll swatch the, oh, it is a pretty, we'll swatch the ColourPop ones underneath. So right now I'm doing the Mario ones. The one I just, the first one was that one. Now I'm grabbing this one. And then now this one. And I'm, I'm only gonna swatch the, the more, because there is this one, but that one's more of a satin to me. Um, I'm just swatching these. Now I'm confused where I'm at. Oh, that was that one. Now I'm swatching this one. Perfect, okay, there we go. So this one's a pressed glitter, like straight up glitter, not this type of shadow shift situation. Um, I'm gonna swatch this one on my finger. Just so you know, I'm not even sure if this one would be eye safe because it's just their glitter. I don't, I'll just, oh Lord have mercy, see. So it's beautiful, but we need to double check if that one's eye safe because sometimes ColourPop does that because glitter can go into your eye and scratch your eye. So we need to be more careful about that. But let's swatch these. These are a little bit more similar to the vibe. So here's one. But these have more of a base. Do you see how this one kind of disappears? This is very similar, but this has just a touch more base than Mario's, but so similar. Oh my goodness, so similar. Nah. Then let's swatch this one. I feel like this one's leaning more over into an eyeshadow. So the only thing different is definitely gonna be these. So this one's leaning more into an eyeshadow instead of this kind of see-through ethereal topper. Uh, still a little bit more transparent, but not as transparent as say this one. This one's like completely transparent on my skin tone. So one, two, three, four, remember that's the this one, this top one here, that one right there. And then another one in here. Um, which one do we just swatch? I'm getting too excited. So I don't think we swatched this one. Again, that's gonna be definitely more in eyeshadow territory. Still very pretty, very sparkly, but still more of a um, satin shimmer, not that sparkle topper. So let's swatch this one. Ooh, that's pretty, but again, more of a satiny shimmer. So I think our closest one is going to be this one, which was this one with this one. Oh my Lord, these pinky is giving crocodile this one right here. So the shade that we just use is this one. And you can see that it definitely has more of a base to it. Not the base underneath it, I mean the base in the shadow itself. Do you see that? And then I'm gonna swatch the Mario on the next finger. I just want y'all to learn that. See how you can see my skin more through the Mario? Um, this one just has more, more of a base to it. So that's something interesting. And then on this side, we're doing the Mario shadow. Let me show it to you. So pretty. This, uh, this side is just definitely more sparkly. This has some nice sparkle, but that's just, I mean, just next level. And this is the shade that we were using. Grab some more of it. There we go, pretty. Now I'm gonna clean up any fallout that we might have, kind of reshape this with some micellar water in our C30. Now instead of doing black liner, I'm gonna do this gray shadow from Merit. It's so pretty. Um, I am just gonna warm it up with my finger a little bit, it makes a major difference. Put it on the back of my hand, pick it up with an E27. And then all I'm gonna do is just kind of stamp this along my lash line. I love these, I love them so much. Definitely need to warm them up just a hair. You could even stamp in here now once it's warmed up with your finger. But I feel that we forget that sometimes certain formulas need a little bit of warmth to bring them back to life. Isn't that gray pretty? I'm gonna go get you a link. I love 
love, 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 love the formula, but I highly suggest this one, which is Nelson and then the navy blue one because those two for liner and for shadow. These are beautiful as shadows, but I just think they're so pretty and they pair so beautifully with shadows alone. I just, I really, really, really love these Merit Cream shadows. Oh, and this is something you can add for the Sephora sale that's coming up. Um, Cause these are a little bit more spicy priced. Formula is fantastic though. You're paying for a really nice formula. But that being said, the Sephora sale is coming and I'm starting to do a roundup, but let's do like a pre roundup. So I would highly recommend these, put these in your cart. I also wanted to compare, um, I'm gonna hop off and film that as soon as I get my foundation on, but I wanna hop off and compare side by side the House Labs concealer to the Natasha Denona concealer. I already know that I am still enjoying the Natasha Denona more, but I thought that'd be a fun video, also something for y'all to kind of look at and inspect because I know that I like my Natasha. I've, I've compared them, but not side by side but I just prefer the formula of the Natasha Denona. Um, it's thinner. I feel that there's a better color in the, the Natasha Denona for me, and it's more pigmented than the House Lab. So it just checks all the boxes that I am after. So I will hop off and film that, but let's get some foundation on. So when I was in Milan, I went to a Sephora, naturally, and they have best skin ever glow there so i love the best skin ever foundation but i don't think we have glow here i maybe i've i've overlooked it i don't know i can't remember seeing it but i get pretty distracted when i go into sephora's but this was just front and center so it was the first thing i saw when i walked in i got the shade 22p and i have used it and i love it so if we don't have it here in the states i'm sorry but i absolutely Love it. And the match is really, really nice too. See, look at that right there. So, so good. Let's get this on and then I'm gonna hop off really quickly and film that. I know y'all are gonna be so mad at me if y'all can't get this. I feel bad for using it. And I've honestly not used it because I know that you might not be able to get it, but, but I do love the original I, and I love it so much, but I really, really like this formula. <laughs> I really like it. <laughs> It's so nice. 10 out of 10. Okay, let me just finish getting this on. I'll put my foundation on with y'all today. Nice. Has really nice coverage, covers up my redness, but it feels like I'm just putting on skincare. You know what? I will say, this is gonna make y'all feel better. It feels like the Revlon Color Stay for balanced to dry skin, but with just a smidge more coverage. So I don't want y'all to feel like you're missing out too much. So that's a really good, that's a good thing. So I do have this and I am gonna use it, but it just feels like the Revlon one with just a little bit more coverage. All right, I'll be back and I'm not gonna tell y'all here which one is on which side, you'll have to guess. So let me go film that. Okay. One side is Natasha, one, one side is House Labs. One cat in the corner is breathing really heavy. <laughs> Let's do our Kiko Milano bronzer stick situation again. It's actually called a contour stick and there is a really cool tone one, but this one's more warm. So I wanna call it a bronzer stick just so we don't get things confused. And then make sure, <laughs> make sure that you are signed up for Rosamund Beauty emails because you don't wanna miss what's about to drop and it's dropping very soon. I don't even know if I'm allowed to tell y'all a date, but very soon, like enough to sign up for an email and keep a lookout because this is probably one of our biggest launches ever. And it's something that was so requested. I'm talking, I have receipts and I will show y'all those receipts <laughs> once we drop what's going on. And um, yeah, it's coming very soon. By the way, here's a link for this. They actually have it at Ulta. So there's two shades. The darker one is wildly dark. I can use it, but if you were to build it up, it's dark. This one can get even darker too. So I like doing this technique, but I just wanted to warm up the skin a little bit, but there's the link for that, for the Kiko Milano. So. 
This just called to me. It's very expensive. I've had it for a while and I don't reach for it. I don't want you to feel like you need it, but it just called to me and it was literally right there and I want to use it. It's the Westman Atelier uh, Beauty Butter Powder Bronzer. I just wanted to layer this. This is what it looks like. I feel like I've used it three or four times, but it just doesn't, it doesn't speak to me. Yeah, it's still not speaking to me. But I'm just trying to like mix it up and use a couple different things that I have. It's a nice color. It suits my skin tone. But again, I don't even know how much this is. It's like wild spicy price. It's nice. I already like mob better, but just wanted to use it. Better than it just sitting over there. Might as well use it, right? And also I thought I would set that cream that we just put on the stick with a little bit more powder bronzer just to get a little bit more coverage. All right, the blush I put on is a secret. It's really beautiful. Blends out like a dream. Now let's finish up underneath our eye. I like to use this tacky base underneath here because it just grabs so nicely. That way we don't have any fallout or fluff it into our eye. I wear contacts now and I, we maybe have a no fluffing. All right, let me grab some E27s. So I did the same color, this one over here on the Mario side. And then that was our first transition we laid down. And then I did the same color underneath here. All right, we're doing Revlon Bare Affair. And I feel like I wanna find a Revlon lip liner. So let me go look for that. Now let's add Revlon Raisin lip liner in there. And there you have it. By the way, this lip combo right here is under 20. These, I saw this particular shade for 650 um, on the Target app. And then these are $8.99, $9. I saw it for 10 as well. It's interesting to see a lip liner cost more than the lipstick, but these are wonderful lip liners nonetheless. That's it for today. My final verdict. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, other than the shimmer, which we all know that the shimmers are um, different in Mario's palette, but I don't want you to have to spend that much just to get a shimmer because this is still really shimmery and really, really pretty. So that's up to you. Now, in case nobody has told you today, I love you so much. And I don't know what I'm posting tonight. I don't know. But you know what? I'll see you there in the comments. Okay. I love you.